They say that the reason that we climb mountains is to be closer to God. But what does that mean, to be closer to God? Think about it for a sec. What does it mean to be closer to God? I think it means to feel something beyond touch and beyond words, to have an experience where you don't feel alone or afraid because you know in your soul that someone is always with you who loves you just for who you are. That's what I think it means to be closer to God. That's what Taylor is singing about in Holy Ground that we'll hear in just a few moments. Not a place that exists already, but a space that is created when you and someone else make a connection. A bond where you feel like they have known you all of your life and beyond. Where you trust that they've got your back and that whatever happens from that moment on, they will hold you in your hurts, they will wipe away all your tears and they will never abandon you. I think that's what Taylor Swift makes so many people feel. Not just through her music, but by her presence and by her devotion to those who follow her. If you think I'm saying that she's a goddess, you need to calm down. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I am saying that beyond the glitter, the glam, and the hella good hair, she creates the space where people feel that they belong. Just that. Moses must have felt that way when he met God in the mountain in today's reading like he finally belonged. Belonged to a people who had suffered for so long, 400 years, and belonged to a God who Moses realizes in this very moment in the reading that God was listening all along and was now promising that everything was going to be all right. Isn't that what we really desire from those who love us? To feel as though they create the space where we belong, where we can see the joy and acceptance shining in their face because they see us for who we really are where we can be vulnerable enough to reveal our doubts and fears because we know that we will be held by them in those moments and that they will tell us that everything is going to be okay. No wonder so many of us love her music it lifts us up and brings us to the place where we feel that we belong. We all want those mountaintop experiences. Those experiences of deep connection. We want to hold on to them and never let them go. We want to remember the moment, remember the feeling, 
so that it lives long in our hearts, as Tay-Tay would say. But we know that life is not lived merely in the giddy, glittery world of the Eras Tour. In the seasons of our own lives, we are called to let go of those mountaintop experiences and create holy ground in the world and in our lives through our faith in Christ. And so in today's gospel reading, we have this other mountaintop experience that looks all the way back to the first reading that we heard. Peter, John, and James have this experience of deep connection, not just with Jesus, whom they have come to know and love and trust, but with Moses and Elijah, their elders, their ancestors in the faith. But they need to learn the lesson that stressing and obsessing about somebody else is no fun in this gospel. So in this moment, out of fear of losing that connection, of letting go and putting their trust in God, they hear God's voice telling them, this is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. In other words, they don't need to climb a mountain to be in God's presence. You don't need to climb a mountain to be in God's presence. They don't need to build tents or hold on to Moses or Elijah or anything or anyone. For it is in Jesus that God is with them, embodying that relationship, creating the holy ground, wherever he is present. They don't need to go anywhere to be on holy ground. In that sense, they are vessels. We are vessels. Carrying a spark of the divine in us and called to create holiness in every life we touch. And this beautiful music that we hear tonight, it is a vessel. Something that holds us in a place where we feel a connection to something sacred. And this talented, lovely, sparkly phenomenon that is Taylor Swift, she's a vessel too. And when we celebrate Eucharist in just a moment, when we share bread and wine, we become another kind of vessel, embodying something deep for which we all yearn our whole lives to belong, just that, to belong to one another and to God. Amen. 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 Thank you.